Well, we have a decent chance at some showers and thunderstorms tonight into Saturday, but it won't be a widespread soaking that'll help alleviate the drought and dry conditions. We're headed back into a pretty dry pattern after that and cooler Sunday. So we've got a cool front stretching across uh, North Dakota into northern Minnesota and it's the focus for showers and thunderstorms that will be developing later today especially and then into tonight kind of fizzling out but it will also be uh, redeveloping some storms in southern Minnesota on Saturday. They're going to be spotty though and with it will come some smoke. You can see further north here uh, into Canada a wide gray area here that is the smoke plume. Uh, across Canada from the Western Canadian fires. So we had smoke from Eastern Canada this week. Now we're gonna get smoke from Western Canada uh, tomorrow. Probably won't cause any air quality issues, but we'll see if some of that smoke gets to the surface. It'll mostly be elevated as we head into late in the day. Uh, that smoke will be kind of moving in the wake of that cool front. And also, uh, we're gonna see a pretty uh, decent drop in temperatures for Sunday too. Temporarily a touch muggier, especially in Western Minnesota tomorrow. Uh, that front will kind of push that moisture back into much of Minnesota, which is good. We need that moisture source to uh, create some showers and thunderstorms. Just unfortunately, it's not gonna be widespread. It's the nature of activity this time of year. So late today, mostly northern and northwestern Minnesota, some scattered showers, spotty thunderstorms, and then that'll mostly fizzle as it moves south. But then tomorrow, uh, that front will be the focus for more development, especially later in the day with some daytime heating. Though the front may pass the Twin Cities, by peak heating time. So southern Minnesota may see more uh, numerous showers and thunderstorms. So we'll have to watch the timing of the front really carefully here on Saturday. Here's four different computer model scenarios for potential rainfall. And you get the idea that it's really gonna be hit and miss, but where you get some of these good downpours to develop, you could get a, a decent one inch or so. Unfortunately, most of us won't see that. And then after that, this is the European model, for the five days of next week, we're in for a pretty dry stretch of weather again. So yeah, you'll probably have to keep watering the garden or fields um, after Saturday. It's gonna leave most of us parched still. This is looking at all the different models, uh, plotting model high temperatures, and you can see we dip below normal Sunday for a change. We've been two and a half weeks plus of consecutive above normal temperatures, and then we're back to warmer than normal conditions as we head into most of next week. But look at the low temperatures here, early Sunday, we're going to be in the mid 50s, I think, in the Twin Cities, 40s to the north. This will be our first sub 60 degree low temperature since Memorial Weekend. Yeah, that's pretty incredible considering the normal low temperature during these last 10 to 12 days is 56 degrees. We've been consistently way warmer than that. Yet another climate signal, especially our summer overnights uh, are much warmer, not just in the urban heat island, but statewide. Uh, as our summers are warming. And then heading into next week, yeah, we are looking at more heat, upper 80s probably by mid to late week. It does look like a drier heat though. I think the dew points stay in the 50s and maybe even 40s, which could increase the fire danger for some areas, but we're not looking at humid air moving in uh, as we head in the middle of next week.